and welcome to Unwanted Commentary. I'm Coco and today, today we are talking about a very important topic and that topic is what is quality content? What makes quality content and why does this matter? Well, it matters because whenever you're on YouTube and you click a video, I would hope that the video would be quality content or something that you don't regret watching, right? You have only so much time in the day and in your life, so you shouldn't be wasting it watching crap that doesn't entertain you or like, you know, that you don't get something out of. So today we're going to be delving into what makes quality content. How about what the heck was that hand motion? Like, what are you doing? So for me, I find this issue very important because as a content creator, I don't want to be wasting your time. I'm not Jake Paul, right? I care about my audience. I don't want to feed y'all crap that's going to be completely useless in your life. I usually try to entertain y'all, educate y'all, and just be a good, you know, role model for you younglings out there. You know, the younglings. I ain't no Anakin, okay? I watch out for my younglings. I'm not going to be slaughtering any of them anytime soon at least. So when you think about quality content, what goes into quality content? What makes something quality? Is it the editing? Is it the production value? Like there's a range of different creators, right? Like you have on one spectrum, The Right Opinion. He makes really high quality, long edited, scripted pieces that are just very great. And then you have people like Nikki Jakey who put a lot of thought into their scripts and make their videos really entertaining and really engaging. And then you have people like PewDiePie who just, uh, you know, he just kind of does whatever he does. And then he has, and then he has Brad to, I mean, just getting Sive, edit his videos together. So even though he's kind of just spitballing it, he has someone on the back end editing the video together all professional. It's, it's not professional. <laughs> It's full of memes and it's entertaining, so that's all that matters. You know, people watch his videos because they love him. Anyway, so personally, this has kind of been a problem for me because I'm always obsessing. I'm like, I need to make a banger video. I need to make these videos so good that people enjoy them. And so they, the algorithm will bless me and send my video to other people and I won't be like a failure of a YouTuber and a failure of, you know, just in general, a failure. And this brings me to my next point. So in the past year, I've started watching two creators. Two creators that kind of like just, just go with it. Like they have huge followings, but they don't really edit their videos too much, right? And these two creators are Muda from Some Ordinary Gamer and Charlie from, I guess, Penguin Zero. I don't know what his channel's really like. It doesn't really have a name. So we're just gonna call him Charlie. And uh, these two creators kind of just, when they make videos, most of their videos are just them talking to the camera, not doing any fancy, smancy editing, right? They're just talking, they're just saying their thoughts, they probably have some plot points, I mean, you know, topic points, but they're not really like scripting it and making like a bunch of edits, like I do. So it got me thinking, it's like, why people like this, right? This is still quality content. I still enjoy it. Like I get something out of their video and it has nothing to do with over editing or over producing, right? Right? It's just that they're great guys and they make videos that I want to watch. It's as simple as that. And that's kind of what I want to do. You know, like that's also what PewDiePie does. So I want to be a creator where you guys come to this channel for me, not for my content. You know, I mean, also for my content, but not just because of the content I make. But I want you guys, you know, fall in love with me. I fall in love with my personality. You know, I want to, I want to be loved uh, because I definitely didn't get that as a child from my parents. Just kidding, my parents loved me as a child, but then I grew up and they started hating me. Freaking Indian people. But anyways, that is not the point. The point is that I stress a lot about the quality of my videos. I have tons of ideas. Often I come up with like two to three video ideas per day. And as you can see, I don't keep up with that in terms of production because I'm always super anxious like, oh, I need to script this together. I need to get all the jokes just right. And then when I'm editing, I'm like, I need to make a cut here, here, here. I, I over edit my videos. It's it's like YouTube poops. It's kind of crazy. And so lately for the recent videos, I've consciously been like, I don't need to over edit. And yet stop making cuts every five seconds. And I'm just going to go with it because hopefully, hopefully I succeed and get a lot of subscribers and do really well so I can live a happy life life doing something I love so I don't have to go back and do things I hate. Ideally what I want is to be able to make videos on whatever topics I want, just talking to my audience and then having a bunch of people, having my audience that loves me just watch my stuff and you know, like call me on my shit. Like if I start making videos that are just lazy and bad, I don't think I'll be making videos that are lazy, but if my videos, like if the quality drops dramatically and you're not enjoying them, you know, let me know. Don't, don't leave, okay? Don't leave. Let me know before you leave and please don't leave. Also, if you haven't subscribed, hit the bell, you know, because you have to hit the bell. You have to hit subscribe to get to the bell and then put all on the bell because that's the only thing that matters nowadays because subscribing is not enough. Thanks a lot, Susan. Good job, Susan. I mean, 
That is not supposed to be misinterpreted as violence because I love Susan. Thank you, Susan. You are great, Susan. Thank you. Whatever. I don't even know if I'll edit this video together because to be completely honest, this had no script. This kind of had some bullet points in my head. Some of you have probably already left, but if you are one that's still watching, you're one of the real ones. Thank you. Consider joining the Discord where all the real ones are really at. And also, thank you to my patrons. They're awesome. You can be awesome too by just, you know, sharing, watching, being a patron if you want. And as always, Always never share your password. Ever! And listen to the outro song! <laughs>